Hi guys, today we're making popcorn and I'm going to show you three different easy and healthy ways to make it. So the first one is my version of a classic popcorn. It's more neutral tasting. The second one is a yummy sweet coconut popcorn. And the last one is a cheesy buttery popcorn. To start off, let's talk about the corn. I'm using organic corn kernels for all of three recipes, as it's very important to use corn that is organic and non-GMO. Just a quick tip for you guys, if it's organic, it's automatically non-GMO, but if it's non-GMO, it's not always organic. So when in doubt, always choose organic, especially when it comes to corn. I'm going to start by placing a heavy bottom stainless steel pot on high and adding some avocado oil in. For the first recipe, I'm using avocado oil. This oil is really good because it has high smoke point and it's completely neutral tasting. Wait a few minutes for pot to heat up. You can always test it by putting a few kernels into the pot. When they pop, you know it's ready and you can add the rest of the corn in. Put a half a cup of corn into a pot. This will make enough for about two very large, generous servings. Here's a good trick. Instead of using a lid, cover the pot with stainless steel splatter screen. Using a lid may not be a good idea as it creates condensation on the inside and will make your popcorn soggy and less crunchy. Now that the popcorn is ready, transfer into a bowl and sprinkle a desired amount of salt on top. I find that Celtic salt works best for popcorn as it's heavy and moist and tends to adhere to popcorn better than some of the drier salts. Okay, that's as easy as that. Your popcorn is ready to enjoy. My second recipe is a coconut popcorn. It's naturally sweet and very satisfying and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. Let's start by making coconut butter glaze first. In a pan over low heat, Add about a fourth of a cup of coconut butter, two tablespoons of maple syrup, you can also use honey if you like, fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and about a fourth of a cup of full fat coconut milk. Stir until everything is melted and well incorporated. Then set aside and let it cool down. Now onto the popcorn. Add about four tablespoons of coconut oil over high heat and cook your popcorn according to previous instructions. Once the popcorn is ready, lay it on the baking tray lined with parchment paper. Then we're going to drizzle our coconut butter glaze over it. We're going to add some finely shredded coconut flakes on top and a pinch of salt. And that's it, enjoy. Okay, so the last recipe is herbed butter Parmesan popcorn. Begin by adding four tablespoons of grass-fed ghee, also known as clarified butter, into the bottom of the pan. This is a good option for those who are sensitive to dairy, as any of the milk solids are removed during the production, so it's essentially lactose-free. This is basically butter fat, which also happens to be a really good option for high heat cooking. If you're new to ghee, it tastes similar to butter, but with slightly roasted nutty background notes, which makes it perfect for this particular recipe. I'm going to be using fresh rosemary, thyme, black pepper, and a small amount of Parmesan Reggiano. I personally can handle a small amount of high quality dairy, but if you prefer to exclude it completely, you can always use nutritional yeast instead of Parmesan in this recipe. You can also add some melted ghee over the top to make it a little more buttery. Okay, so there you have it. Healthy homemade popcorn, three different ways. If you enjoy watching this, give this video a like. I have a lot of fun content in the works, so if you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.